Hey everyone, welcome to another interview at UpViral. Today, I am joined by Bianca, who's the growth coordinator at PM3, and she has been using UpViral, and she's the person behind the campaign that has generated over 35,000 leads. And today, Bianca is gonna share all the secrets on how they achieved this win. So first of all, Bianca, thank you for joining us, and how are you doing today? Hi, Will, I'm doing fine. Thank you for inviting me here. Super, super. You're welcome. No, we're, we, it's a pleasure to have you because you have a lot of knowledge about UpViral that I'm sure can benefit the entire community. So that's why we wanted to have you here so that you can, yeah, share your knowledge, you know, and we're thankful for it. So, all right, let's dive into it, Bianca. So first of all, can you give us an introduction about uh, PM3? Sure. Well, about PM3 uh, or PM3, PM3 in Portuguese. Uh, we are an ad tech with six years in the market. We are part of Aluda Group, uh, the biggest ad tech ecosystem here in Brazil. We have online courses focused on the career path of product managers, product marketeers, product growth, product leadership. And we also have our annual subscription named PM3 Sprint. That is the case that we are going to talk about that is connected to this, this part of PM3. That is our on-demand courses that are uh, quick and straight to the point for people who are looking for their next step in their careers or want to improve any skills in business, innovation, data, marketing, or product. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah. So you basically create courses for professionals in Brazil, right? You're focused on the Brazilian market. Okay. Okay, great. Right. So, and then PM3 sprints, it's the main product that you wanted to promote, right? Because that's the annual subscription. Yes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay, great. So then can you tell us what made you want to use up viral or because the end goal is basically to get more customers on your PM PM3 sprints annual subscription. So how did you see a viral as a potential to increase your customers? Sure. Well, uh, we launched PM3 Sprints last year. So it was uh, our the most recently product on our portfolio. And we didn't have, we haven't yet run any campaign focused on it. And we missed having a lead collection and lead qualification in our database who knew about PM3 Sprints and were interested in this course model. Since our other courses are more focused on product careers, maybe the student profile were different. So we needed to spread the word about PM3 Sprint. And we thought that using a referral system would help us on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you already had a database uh, with, with leads, with customers probably from other courses but they were not the right fit for PM3 Sprints for your new product, right? Yeah, um, uh, we wanted to have this lead generation and also brand awareness about this new uh, product on our pro portfolio. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right, so the main goal is then was to generate new leads, like new brand awareness and new customers. Okay, got it, for PM3 Sprints. Before using Up Viral, like, did you use any other strategy to accomplish that same end goal? And how did it work? Yes, we did, but it hadn't have the, the same effort. So we had a punctual marketing strategies such as email broadcasts, paid media, also participating in online and presential events, but it wasn't connected with an overall strategy as we did for uh, for this last campaign, named Focus on Studies, and we used it up viral. So we did have some efforts, but it wasn't connected with anything uh, bigger. Okay, okay, got it. So now tell us more about the, the campaign that you did. So first of all, let's talk about the results that it generated. Okay, you, you want to go to the results before, okay. Straight to the results, yes. <laughs> sure. So uh, we were expecting 25,000 leads and we got 34,000 leads on our upfire strategy. Awesome, awesome. So you yeah. basically got more leads than you were that you were aiming for right 10000 more yes and the nicest point on that is that 
24,000 leads or 74% were brand new leads. That is pretty nice because uh, it was one of our goals. So to uh, go outside the bubble that we already have on our leads uh, mm -hmm. and we got it with uh, this viral uh, references. So it was 74% of new leads that we didn't know and we are talking with these people now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we can actually see the results. So the PM3 Sprints campaign. So um, it generated 57,000 direct visits. We will talk about in a bit how they were generated. From those 57,000 visits, you got 18,600 direct leads, so conversion rate of 33%. But then, essentially, those 18,000 leads, they were encouraged to refer others, right? And they generated 68,000 referred visits, from which 17,112 signed up. So that's a 25% conversion rate on the referred traffic. So in total, all in all, you essentially had 125,000 visits and 35,773 leads collected with this campaign, which is amazing. That's really, really good. And um, so, and and you said 70, 74%, right? Were new leads that were not, uh, that you, from a brand new audience, uh, yes. focused on this new product, PM3 Sprints. That's it. That's that's really good. What I find very surprising, you know, and 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 it's something that we shouldn't underestimate is the the amount of referred leads that you have in your campaign because you essentially have almost, or we could say you have yeah, almost a one to one referral ratio, right? You have you have collected eighteen thousand direct leads and seventeen thousand referred leads, so that's pretty much that every lead that signed up to your campaign referred someone else, right? So for example, if you were to uh, generate traffic from Facebook ads, imagine, right, if that would be the case, that would basically mean that you would, cost, you, you would cut your cost per lead in half because every lead that you're generating from Facebook is now referring someone else. So that is really good. And that is way above like also the average, right? The up viral, the average um, up viral user generates like 0.5 referral ratio. That's the average amongst all up viral users. So you can use that a little bit as a reference point. So you were basically doubling the average of up viral users when it comes to referral ratio. So that is that is epic. So well done and congrats on your achievement, Bianca. Thank you. Super. What I want to share as well, essentially, if I um, have it somewhere here, I had da, 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 the email stats. Because what I found um, also from the email stats, which was really interesting about your campaign, is that uh, 67, well, 68% essentially opened the emails that you sent through a viral, which is basically like a, a confirmation that the emails that you were getting, the email addresses were legit and that they were like not like fake leads, that they were quality leads and that they were engaged with the campaign and opening the emails. Here we see from all the different emails that you have, the one that they received after registration had an 86.5% open rate. So that's, yeah, that's, that's really, really high. And I'm really pleased to see these numbers because, again, this means that the leads you were collecting were quality leads that were opening your emails and engaging with your campaign. <laughs> yeah, that one was one of our concerns to get all the, the leads, the support, to have a, a good brand experience with us. So uh, I think I would like to talk a little bit about what was the campaign because this connects mm -hmm. a little bit with uh, this uh, quality of the audience. So the, the campaign was we created an on-demand trial format between January 18th and to 31st. And so it was a three-week campaign, we created a landing page where people could sign up for free and receive access to three quick PM3 sprint courses. That was about product design service, digital business metric, and storytelling. That, so everybody that signed up for free, they would have access to seven days uh, for these three courses with the possibility of obtaining a certificate at the end of each course. So I think that that uh, connects with the point of the quality leads or there are mm -hmm. people that want to improve their knowledge in one 
or the three of these courses, design, uh, metrics, and storytelling. And it was nice that we had the objective of attracting 25,000 leads. And we didn't expect any sales for, for this campaign, but we had sales. Uh, uh, I can talk a, lot, a, a bit about this. So we have 0.3% of conversion in all the, the leads col uh, collected. And mm -hmm. we, we know that our ticket may be high, a high ticket. Uh, so people might have a few months to get to know the, the course, the quality, the, yeah. the, uh, how we teach. So we, we know that might take time to the audience to buy. And mm -hmm. it was nice that at the end of the, the month, at the end of the campaign, we did a closing YouTube live. Uh, with the content and space to answer questions about the courses and also offering a discount discount for those participants who were on the campaign that we got is a 0.3% of conversion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's great. So, all right, so 0.3% conversion rate from lead to customer. And you mentioned that you have like a, a high ticket product, right, that you're promoting. So basically, for everyone that is that 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 doesn't know, like if you have a, a higher ticket product, then you need a longer nurturing sequence. So essentially, it's not an impulse buy, right? It's not as if you're buying, I don't know, like a, a $30 course on internet, you know, that is an impulse buy, you see it, you buy it, right? But if you have like a high ticket product, a high ticket course or a program, then people need to, more time to think about it, maybe, they want to build a trust with you first, right? That you are the right company to work with. Maybe they they don't have the resources to sign up at that point in time, but six months down the line or next year, they do have the resources. So yeah, high ticket sales is, is more complex, right? To Well, it's not that it's more complex. Complex is not the right word, but it, ta it just takes more time to turn leads into customers. But yeah, so the fact that you already on high ticket product, you were already converting it at 0.3% from this campaign, that is that is a really good sign. And I'm sure that in six months from now, 12 months from now, there will be more customers from the leads you collected. Yeah, uh, we, are, we are nurturing them uh, with content and it, it connects with the, the form here. I, if I can yeah, yeah, yeah. into the yeah, let's Let's now dive into, into the landing page, yes. Yeah, sure. So, so here we have the form that we are, uh, the form was connected with Upviro and with Kajabi, that is our, mm -hmm. uh, our platform that our courses are in. And we have the name on the certificate. So everybody that put their name there, it was the name that we are going to uh, have the certificate emission and the email, the cell phone, because here we, we work it with WhatsApp uh, yeah. one-on-ones and WhatsApp groups as well. And mm -hmm. got as well the area of interest that is connected with the, um, the courses that we have. So if the person is a designer, if they are uh, aiming, uh, if they work with growth, with product marketing, this will help us with our CRM. And we are already doing this, like sending uh, lots of content for designers specifically because we are launching a product design course here. So we did this uh, January campaign in order mm -hmm. to March launch this new course for for product designers. So since this viral campaign that we did in January to collect a bunch of leads, lots of them, 7,000 were from design. That okay. was the yeah it, it is nice to, to have this this part of design uh leads that we were aiming to to get attention because it's mm -hmm. a, a a new market for us and we wanted to get their attention to collect the, their contacts and work with them nurture them into the launch of this product and of course it was only three months from uh, january to into march in April, that it was April actually that we launched the the product designer course, and okay. we will continue nurturing them. We uh, we have several new activities and content from designers specifically, and this is something that we were thinking to connect for for each campaign that we are doing during the this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. So, and I understand that 
essentially from every different category that you have here, area of interest, you essentially send out different content in the back end, right? Different emails if they are in product into product management or into growth or into design or into agility, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, then you have the phone number as well, which always when when I speak with or I I get the chance to interview someone from Brazil, they always have the phone number in the campaign because that is such a it's it's a tool that you guys use a lot for marketing as well. So here I'm in Europe, right? And here we don't use as much like we don't collect as many phone numbers to then create WhatsApp groups. We do more like things like Telegram. Right. In some occasions, you see some some businesses um, doing this through WhatsApp, but typically it's more done through through Telegram or 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 maybe sometimes also SMS. Right. But here, like it's also when you add the phone number to a field, to a form, the conversion rate decreases significantly. So a lot of campaigns are focused on just collecting names and emails. But yeah, every time I speak with someone in Brazil, it's something I notice. They always have the phone number field. And it is for WhatsApp campaigns. Cool. So now this campaign is is closed. This this campaign run in was it in January? You said that you run yes. this campaign. Okay. For how long did you run it? Three weeks. For three weeks. And uh, so currently it says here. So waiting list, free courses. Leave your contact details, and we will notify you when we launch our next campaign. 100% online. You provide the certificates after the completion of the course real cases so yeah this is translated by by google this page so this i guess it, it means real case studies right <laughs> and then practical activities so what you will learn so there is a you were essentially giving away a storytelling course and this was the instructor i imagine right rafael yes. oh, so the modules that they would get the duration five hours so very informative with all the information a service design course and then a digital business metrics course. Excellent. And then, um, then you would basically, this is interesting. So you were, so typically what is done is that first you have the page, the landing page where you collect the, the details, right? And then on the thank you page or on the confirmation page, you introduce them the rewards, what that they can win or the incentives, right? But what I noticed here is that you already add all the rewards that someone could could get on the landing page so that they already know there is a competition going on, right? When you sign up, yes, you can benefit from these courses and get certified. But in addition to that, there is a competition going on where we will be giving out prizes. So can you walk through all the different rewards and, and things and incentives that you gave away? Sure. Well, you mentioned that and it was a test to put the all the rewards on the landing page. It was the first uh -huh. time that we did. And I okay. think it went pretty well. <laughs> One to one <laughs> ratio. So it works. <laughs> exactly. So talking a little bit about the prices, we have three kinds of prices. One with no costs for us. Uh, so we would encourage people to invite at least two other friends to unlock their prices. Mm -hmm. So if, if you see there with one nomination, if the lead invited one other person, he would unlock this content for Product Camp. That is mm -hmm. the largest product event in Latin America and is run it by PM3. So we own the, the content and it has no cost for us to share the the driver where all the content were if the, the the lead invited two other people to participate it would unlock a framework for monthly check-ins that is like how you manage your career and your goals for your career monthly also this is a framework that we have so no cost for us and okay. at least the it will get this encouragement for the lead to invite at least two people and uh, if they don't aim to get in the first place and the second kind of prices it was big prices which was more connected to the placement in the ranking so the first second third positions and we use it for the first time big prizes like xboxes kindle alexa and all of them with pm3 merchandising and uh, I must say that we got a little anxious about the, the quality of the leads because mm -hmm. sometimes when you offer this kind of prices, the, the quality of the leads can go oh. down. Uh, mm -hmm. You might attract people that are, are not looking for the content and exactly. not aiming to 
connect with the brand, uh, only focused on the price. But we, we saw the numbers and fortunately that didn't happen. And, and I, I thank Viral for that as well, because you, you have the this blocker of unqualified leads that could be a spam. Yeah. Fraud detection. Yeah. yeah, or people trying to hack the system or fake leads. So this this didn't happen. So everybody that got this big prices, they were real people uh, that Super. were re engaging and posting their certificates. So we got uh, really happy with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah, prices that there was a competition, right? Uh, first, uh, so first price up to 10th price, they would get like... So everything else is the same. What changes is essentially the, the first thing, right? This is an Xbox. This is a Kindle, Alexa, and half uh, PM3. Yeah, but everything else. So what is half PM3? Mistranslation. Okay. Oh, it's, it's socks. Because uh, socks in, ah. in Portuguese is... And uh, Maya is, can be Mayu half. Okay, okay, okay. It's, so it's... Uh, okay, I mean, so Maya stands for socks. <laughs> Got it. So PM3 socks, sunglasses, a notebook from PM3. Okay. And then it was Alexa, Kindle and Xbox. Excellent. So this is also something that we recommend all users to, especially for give out things, give out prizes, right? That don't cost you anything, right? And that is what you did well with, the, with your, like if you send one referral, you get access to a digital product. If you send two referral, you get access to another digital product, right? So they don't cost you anything, but they still provide great value to the person that has referred someone else. And when they do, you know, they send the first referral, the first two referrals, they also get engaged. They see that they are getting the rewards that, that you're promising, right? And then they, they can basically continue referring. And if they are motivated, they can really go into the competition to try to be in the top top 10 places and win win the the bigger prizes and for them yes you have done an investment there but yeah so that is that is great also will i forgot to to tell about the last uh giveaway on linkedin that was yeah. a sweep so we got a member get to member strategy connected with the issuance of the certificate. So when the lead issued the certificate for any of the three courses, he would also receive an email inviting him to share his certificate on LinkedIn. And by email, we encourage this person to post the certificate on LinkedIn using the hashtag of the campaign and sharing the up viral reference link, encouraging other people to do the same, to seize the opportunity to do the courses for of PM3 uh, for free. So this helped to increase the virality of the campaign. Yeah. And this nudge was connected with the third type of prizes that was a sweepstake with a user generated content. So at the end of the campaign, we had a sweepstake with the name of all the leads who posted on LinkedIn the certificate with the hashtag. And uh, we were always remembering them by email about this. Like every time that you mm -hmm. issued a certificate, you got an email remembering you to post, to use the, your viral, a viral link and to use the hashtag. Okay, so this is interesting. So essentially inside your lead generation campaign where they would basically enter to get access to the three courses then you encourage them to share right to win prizes but then people were taking the courses getting certified and then there was essentially a sweepstake among those who shared and who posted on linkedin right with the certification of completion of the courses so that's a sweepstake inside your lead generation campaign inside your campaign yes yeah 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 okay that's really interesting so that's that's actually the first time that i see so that's that's great. Just just to share the the result about that, yeah. we have five hundred posts, user generated content on LinkedIn, with that. That's really good. And at the end of the day, that's that's also like very valuable for you, right? To have like all these five hundred people posting about it, and those that is then also like social proof that you can use in your marketing moving forward. So it benefits it benefits PM three in so many ways to have that much user generated content. Exactly. That's great. That's great. And Bianca, what do you think are the strong points from your campaign that made it work so well, collect 35,000 leads, exceed the target of leads by 10,000, 
right? Because your target was 25,000, you collected 35,000. What do you think were the strong points that made it work so well? About the campaign as an overall, I think that we invested in different channels. So we had paid media, we have organic social media in Instagram and LinkedIn. We had an email marketing with that. I think that the attractive of giving away uh that people could issue issue certificate on it and mm -hmm. uh, that that helped a lot also we offered attractive incense incentives uh, so people i think uh, are more likely to refer friends or colleagues if they have this tangible incentive uh, and i uh, i think that having these three types of incentives help it with that and uh, also uh, I believe that we created a positive experience for everyone involved so we got ensured that both referring customers and new customers who are referred have a positive experience with our brand so everybody was getting access to the courses they were with a nurture flow of the emails remembering them when the the expiration date for, for these courses, the sending of the certificate, everything was pretty well and tangled, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was puzzled together very well, absolutely. So that is that is one of the things that I, I think makes UpViral really powerful, right? Uh, the UpViral campaigns is that, so you could have like your end goal was to generate more sales for your new product, PM3 Sprints right the high ticket program and uh, it's not not sales more leads more leads yes correct sorry more, more leads right and you could have like taken the traditional approach right of of saying creating advertising campaigns pm3 you know like sprints join here you know buy buy the course right and that would have been one approach um but the approach that you took is completely different. It's an approach of providing value first, reaching out to new audience that they've never heard from you before, create a goodwill campaign, give them access to three courses, allow them to get certified by your, your company, right? Then have them join the sweepstake here on LinkedIn, right? And then they were basically like getting a ton of value from you, from PM3. And then when the timing is right, when they have taken some of your courses, when they have seen that you're a legit company, you have their trust, then you mention one of the products that you have, PM3 Sprints, right? I think that is a much smarter approach and way less sales aggressive, right? Where you're straight asking for the sale. No, you're giving value first. And then when the timing is right and they trust you, uh, then you're asking for the sale. So that is that is a great approach. And now I want to basically talk a little bit more. You already mentioned it briefly, but for everyone in the audience, I want to talk more about the ways that you generate the traffic for this campaign. So one way was through Facebook ads, right? That was an approach. So I actually, Bianca was kind enough to share some of the Facebook ads. So these were all Facebook ads that were taking people to the landing page to sign up for the three courses that they would get free access to, right? So we have here, this is the mascot of your business, right? The seal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so focus on studies in 2024 to start a year with, with full focus, we will release three PM3 sprint courses for free with certificates. Sign up to stand out. So that is one of them. Then this is another ad. So you were basically split creatives, right? So three courses for the price of one strike through for free. Get now three courses from PM3 Sprints for free and with a certificate. Sign up and stand out. And here is another one. So you basically had these three different Facebook ads sending traffic to the page. But then essentially in addition to Facebook ads, then in addition to, to run Facebook ad campaigns, you also leveraged organic social media, right? So this was posted as a, as a carousel. So we can see here the little dots, right? And this was posted as a carousel on social media. This is about the three different courses that you could get. So basically the, the, the post, this was published on Instagram. 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then besides that, you also uh, send out an email, right? To invite everyone to sign up. So that was to your existing audience. You were basically sending this email, right? Yeah. So here we see, so first name, how it's starting 2024 strong, focusing on studies and earning three certificates with PM3 sprint courses, all of this for free. And I want to know more, would we'll take them to the page to sign up. So you can read here the entire content, but yeah. So where does the, the, the primary three traffic strategies, so organic social media with the posts that we saw, the Facebook ads, and then the email. Yeah, and also uh, another media that we gained traffic, it was on a newsletter. Uh, it was the first time that we tried a business newsletter here in Brazil, mm -hmm. and we got several leads from that. Uh, I think it was like 4,000 leads coming from a newsletter. And, and that of was course, a... that mm -hmm. the viral um, impact of on it, right? Maybe okay. one each 4,000 leads connected with another, so... Yeah, yeah. So you, you were sponsoring uh, another newsletter, right? With, with basically yes. a, an audience that knew they were very much interested in your courses. Okay. So yeah. 4,000 leads from sponsoring the, the newsletter. That's great. That's great. Cool. All right. So these were basically the traffic uh, channels. And now I would like to ask you, so this campaign was three weeks in January. So how did you keep the lead engaged throughout the three weeks? Well, we had these emails with activation, uh, remembering the, the lead about the activation on the platform, about the expiration of the, the trial, mm -hmm. the reminders with the last day to access the platform. Uh, we also had the social media posts on LinkedIn and Instagram, and that most of the leads uh, were connecting with us on our social media. So we had these reminders there as well. Uh, the viral loops of the asking people to share their certificates help it as well. So every time that someone uh, finished a course, they would receive an email. And this reminder uh, ha has a reminder about sharing, about uh, connecting and finishing the other two courses. And also we continue nurturing them with specific inbound strategy during the, the three weeks and after the, the three weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So that was the engagement. That was the engagement strategy. Cool. So we, we see that from the campaigns that are like very successful in referral ratio, the main difference is that they have a, they have a proper engagement strategy with what you just mentioned and doing different things like contacting the leads to once they have signed up make all about them referring others right it doesn't end them signing up that's the end of signing up but that's the start of starting to refer your friends and family and colleagues and peers right so that is that is something i would, I would love for the audience to take away that it is it is the key to referral ratio having a high referral ratio is the engagement that ap happens after the campaign and uh, also, Will, another thing is that we uh, send emails uh, through a viral every time the lead uh, unlocked any of those mm -hmm. uh, those two prices. Yeah. That it it hasn't had any cost. So if you shared your link with one lead and uh, this lead sign in, then you unlock it one one price and you will have this your email automated through a viral. So this helps yeah. us as well. Yeah, 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 definitely. So the more you can communicate with those are in the campaign, the better. Obviously, okay. sending them a content that they that they are uh, willing to receive, right? Not just spamming them every five minutes, but with encouraging them to refer others when they have unlocked a reward, send them the reward straight away in that same email, encourage them to continue referring. So yeah. That is all. That is all great. Excellent. How did you announce the winner at the end of the three weeks? Uh, we sent uh, an email for for the winners, and for the sweepstake, we got it a post on social media as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so post on social media for the yeah. I think we have the email for the winner. Yeah, let me pull it up here. There it is. So. Congratulate. So this is a, the example of the email, right? Congratulations, Rafael. You are the winner of the Focus on Studies PM3 referral program. So in this case, this is the winner of the 
first the grand prize, the biggest prize, which is the Xbox. And then there were like, as you guys have seen already, different prizes as well. There were 10 winners in total, right? So this was the announcement for the winner. Okay. From this campaign I've done that has collected 35,000 leads, if you had the chance to do this campaign again, is there anything with the knowledge you have now that you would have done differently? Well, I, I think that we learned it a lot in this campaign. There are several things that I would like to repeat. Of course, uh, maybe a little uh, touch here and there, but this part of offer attractive incentive, create a positive experience, all the, the touch points that we had with, with the leads during, during the experience, it was pretty great. I think that what I would like to improve is the volume of reference. We got a mm. good uh, viral co coefficient yeah. uh, of one inviting one. And the challenge is for the next campaign to have a viral coefficient of one inviting two. Yeah, yeah. When you achieve that two to one referral ratio, viral coefficient, then we definitely need to do part two. So we will invite you again for the second interview. Okay, because that would be sure. epic. Super. My final question for you, uh, Bianca, is in a few words, like what would you say about UpViral? Okay. Well, I, I like it a lot using UpViral. Uh, I think it has an intuitive and an easy to use design. It is super user-friendly interface, which allows us to set up and launch viral campaigns without the, the need for advanced, so advanced technical knowledge. Uh, so it can create campaigns quickly and efficiently. That is pretty nice. Also the, the part of campaign customization. So I can drag and drop and change the colors for PM3 colors and, and pictures and logo. That's pretty nice. And last but not least, uh, it's about monitoring and analyzing the results. Uh, so uh, everything that you show, you showed about the, the percentage for the conversion rate in our landing mm -hmm. page, the CRO, uh, uh, this helps us a lot doing the optimizations because every time that we looked and we thought that maybe our conversion rate wasn't really good for landing pages, we changed it a little bit and that helped us during the campaign. It was a, a three week campaign. So we had the time to change specific things there for using also optimizing for mobile and all of this, this stuff mm -hmm. helped us to, to get this, these results. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Thank you. So in summary, the customization of the campaign and the data analytics. Those are your two favorite parts of a viral. Go yeah, on. and easy to use design. That, yeah, that is yeah. pretty much what, uh, with the campaign customization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Super. And then um, final question, if they want to, if people want to connect with you, if they want to connect with PM3, where do they have to go? You can find me on LinkedIn with Bianca Ramirez <laughs> and also PM3 courses on LinkedIn. We can put that on, on the, the blog post. Yes. yes, we will. We will definitely like add your link there so that people can connect with you if they want to, or in the YouTube description in case people are watching on YouTube. Sure. Excellent. Bianca, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure to have you here. And we look forward to doing part two when you have that, when you achieve that two to one referral ratio. Of course. <laughs> thank you so much for your time and have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Will. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>